organization, Tamara Leisure Experiences, is based on the idea of responsible hospitality. And that essentially encompasses a lot of you know, different aspects of sustainability. Um, it, it encompasses the idea of environmental sustainability. How can we as an organization, as hoteliers, as you know, people who run these hotels and resorts, be more responsible towards our environment by reducing our footprint, whether it's the waste that we create, whether it's in being more reasonable in our consumption patterns. It's also around the idea of having good people practices. So how do we create fulfilling employment, fair employment for people from all aspects of, um, of the socioeconomic spectrum? And then of course, how do we create a business which is finally providing excellent guest experiences where they are engaging with a destination in a truly authentic way? So really in our business, what we say is that you, know, you can't take one property and, and put it somewhere else because that property really belongs to that place. And that's, that really is sort of to the core of sustainability, right? We want our hotels to be you know, places which are resilient, which are authentic, and which can sustain no matter what, um, what hits them. I think consumers are far more aware and interested in the concept of responsibility and sustainability than they were pre-pandemic. We've all become um, aware of you know, environmental changes which are happening, um, you know, the impact of, for instance, um, the clash between wildlife and, and humans and, and how that's led to really these enormous calamities over the last couple of years. And so people have become far more invested in finding businesses that are, re are, are responsible, um, much more so than before the pandemic. So you see that people are doing more research, you see that people are making decisions ma based on this idea of is this organization treating its people right? Are they, do they have good, um, you know, good practices when it comes to their supply chain? Are they creating, um, you know, are they being less wasteful, so on and so forth? Um, this is, you know, I think this was there to a small extent before, but it's far more, it's a far greater um, population who is now invested in these ideas than before. I think from our perspective, we've started to communicate that more actively, right? So, um, you know, we, we've always been an organization that's invested in responsible hospitality, but it is important that we continuously engage with that idea, that we put it out there, that we get more collaborators on board. We really want more hotels to be responsible. Finally, that's also one of the goals that we have for ourselves, is that we want to share our best practices with the industry so that we as an industry can evolve to be better um, and to have much more positive impact on the communities in which we exist. So today we operate six properties um, in South India and we own four properties in Germany. Uh, so currently we have four more properties which are in the pipeline which are getting constructed. I have a few more which are in approval phases we're just waiting on you know to get to get going on the construction and then further on we're looking at expansion really in several destinations across the length and breadth of India, also in a couple of places abroad. Um, and those are in various stages of sort of, you know, of that process of acquisition at this point.